Today we're gonna talk about almost all the render engines that you can use with Blender. Some of these render engines are free, some are open source and others are paid. So hopefully this list should cover all your needs. Appleseed. This is a good yet not very popular render engine that can be used with Blender. Appleseed is an open source, physically based global illumination rendering engine primarily designed for animation and visual effects. Like any other promising open source project, this render engine is actively developed by a small international team of talented volunteers from all around the world and the animation and VFX industry. Even though it is not very popular among 3D software users, Appleseed has been used on several projects including TV documentaries, ads, promotional videos and animation shorts, but not to the extent that the other render engines are being used. NVIDIA Omniverse This is a new render engine that NVIDIA is working on right now and it is very promising. Just to be clear, it is now available for many 3D software such as 3ds Max, Maya, Substance Painter and Unreal Engine. The guys at NVIDIA promise that there will be a Blender version that they are working on right now without announcing a set release date. Omniverse uses ray tracing and path tracing based on NVIDIA's RTX technology. It is in its early stages now, due to that its features are a bit far from production ready, but it has lightning speed and performance which makes it very interesting. Malt, also known as Beer. It is a non-photoreal and stylized render engine that can be used with Blender. The good thing about it is that it is free and open source because it is crowdfunded by the Blender MPR community. It can be used for rendering projects such as anime, webcomics, line designs, sketches, and so on. To make something clear, Mold is a backend of Beer, which is currently under development. What's different about how this render engine works is that instead of nodes and node groups as material building blocks, Beer runs with a paradigm of MPR features as a building block of a material. Diffuse is a feature, Hatching is a feature, Rim Light is a feature, and so on. So it stacks these MPR features to make the final material. Radeon ProRender ProRender is a powerful physically based rendering engine that can simultaneously use and balance the capabilities of multiple GPUs and CPUs on the same time at the same machine. AMD is actually one of the biggest contributors and supporters of the development of Blender, which hopefully will allow it to go further and develop even better tools. Radeon Pro Render is one of the best Blender add-ons for rendering that are actually free. Moreover, it comes with a library of materials that you can use for free within Blender. If you are interested in learning more about creating characters and environments, I recommend you try Skillshare. Skillshare is a learning platform that has thousands of classes on a variety of different topics. And you can find a lot of classes about Blender that can help you do that step by step. For example, this class called Bring Your Illustrations to Life with Blender 3D, in which you will learn modeling and texturing a scene in 3D as a beginner. First, you will illustrate your scene with ease of modeling in mind, then you will create an illustrated scene, after that you will model, texture, and render out the scene. By the end of this course, you will have a full scene of your illustration in 3D, and the good thing is, it is very affordable, because you just need to pay less than $10 per month to get access to all these fantastic classes. The first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Indigo Render Indigo Render is an unbiased GPU and CPU renderer that accurately simulates the physics of light. The new version comes with a brand new multi-GPU engine, also workflow and UI enhancements. This render engine is not new and was available for Blender for a long period of time now. It was originally released as a freeware until the 2.0 release in 2009. Over the years it became better and better, which makes it one of the best render engines that can be used with Blender. LookScore Render This is a free and open source render engine that works with Blender. The development started in 2008 and the name of the engine changed from Looks Render to LookScore Render in 2017. There is a specific add-on called Blender Looks Render, which integrates the Looks Core Render Engine into Blender. It generally speaking offers advanced features like accelerated rendering of indirect light and efficient rendering of caustics. Because the Looks Render project was dying under the weight of a lot of old abandoned code, all active developers have a strong feeling that the fresh start was required. The core between Looks and Render is there to highlight the new project focus. In addition to that, it is one of the best Blender add-ons for rendering that is actually free. RenderMan Pixar RenderMan is a very strong and efficient render engine produced by Pixar Animation Studios. They use it to render their in-house 3D animated movie productions and it is also available as a commercial product licensed to third parties. 
As for those who don't want to use it commercially, it is completely free. This tool gives artists access to Pixar's tools for lighting and look development. I mean real tools that have already created amazingly sophisticated and complex imagery for feature film. In the same vein, it ended up earning a spot on the list of the best render engines for Blender. On the other hand, the community consider it one of the best Blender add-ons for lighting as well. That is to say, it merges both of the concepts in such a harmonious way. RenderMan Standard was first presented in 1993 Seagraph, developed with input from 19 companies. Hollywood has been using it to create digital visual effects for blockbuster movies such as Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, The Lion of the King, Terminator 2, and so on. And the render engine has received many academic and technical awards. Redshift Redshift Rendering Technologies was founded in early 2012 with the goal of developing a production quality, GPU accelerated rendering engine with support for biased global illumination techniques. It is available for most industry standard 3D software and it is now available for Blender users as well. This render engine is a rising star when it comes to being industry standard in animation and VFX work because it is powerful and can do a ton of good things. Octane Render Octane Render is an unbiased render engine with real-time capabilities. It was created by the New Zealand-based company Refractive Software, which was later acquired by Autoy in 2012. This render engine is now available for Blender users and can achieve faster results than Blender's native render engines such as Cycles, which is a good thing if you want better performance and better results. Octane Render was the first commercially available and biased ray tracer that fully utilized the GPU, giving it a significant speed advantage by allowing users to easily modify scenes in real time. But most importantly, it allowed it to make it to the list of the best rendering add-ons for Blender. V-Ray V-Ray can be easily on top of Blender add-ons for rendering in all industries, and one of those that have been around for a long period of time. Because Kaius Group, the developers, constantly develop it and enhance it over the years. At the beginning, it used to be harder to adjust the settings to prepare scenes. However, now it is becoming easier and it is able to create better quality renders in a shorter period of time. They had to do this to keep with the other render engines that can generate amazing quality with little to no configuration. Now we're going to talk about the render engines that actually come with Blender. Cycles. Cycles is a path tracing render engine launched under the Blender Foundation in 2011. It was a new render engine that was added alongside the Blender internal. Cycles is pretty well known for being one of the easiest rendering software to learn when it comes to Blender. It offers some great tools for different purposes and it is especially good for animation. So I think it is worth it to get through the initial learning phase. And since it comes with Blender, I think it is gonna be a great start. Also recently, the Blender development team announced Cycles X which aims to refresh the architecture, increase its performance, improve performance on modern CPU and GPUs, and prepare it for the next 10 years, basically. This is the case because they want to improve it completely, rather than try to find quick fixes here and there. Blender's EV. In addition to Cycles, you can also use Blender's real-time rendering engine known as EV. It's a real-time rendering engine built using OpenGL focused on speed and interactivity, while achieving the goal of rendering PBR materials. EV can be used interactively in the 3D viewport, but also can produce high quality final renders, but of course there is some difference in quality. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.